Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Hello, Wilfred. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you? Good, good evening. How was your weekend? Was nice, man. Did you I was it? busy. Went to church. Okay. Yesterday, went to work uh, on Saturday, so it was busy, but it was nice. I I was with my family just a little bit on Sunday, but that's good. Worked that's, there for a moment. That's good. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, where do you work, Wilfredo? Uh, right now, I used to work in a company with their uh, process uh, steel, mm -hmm. but now I got unemployment since last year mm -hmm. from the quarantine. Do you remember that from March? Yeah, yeah. And I got unemployment since then. I've been working in a, in a body shop, uh, auto body shop. Oh, that's nice. That's good. That's, that's what I'm doing right now. That's nice. That's good. I, I, I like that, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm still looking for I like I like mm -hmm. uh, I like doing jobs like that. Uh, body work, I don't know. Mechanics, yes, I know mechanics. I have a, a certification for oh, mechan mechanics for uh, motorcycle mechanics. Right. Yeah, I have a certification. Good, for man. <laughs> and also, I'm learning. Uh, I'm, I'm learning just... carpentry. Carpentry. That's good too. You know that was that was my. That was my uh, hobby class that I have in, at United States when I was studying there. Hi, I got carpenter. this uh, carpenting class. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's good, man. It's yeah, always, you know, it's, and, and I'm, glad, I'm glad that you're studying also English and that's very important, you know, because that, that opens oh, yeah. doors. <clears throat> yeah. that, op that opens doors for anything. Oh, really? Yeah. That's right. That's what I'm looking at to find one that opens so I can give the, once um, once again a job, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, it's been difficult. Yeah, <laughs> I, because my age, I think. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. God, God opens doors. You you have faith, you know. Oh yeah, I got faith. Yeah. That's good. Thanks, man. All right, Veronica. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Veronica. Hello. How are Hello, you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Melody. Good to see you. Same. Thanks. Are you Are you having a good uh, Are you having a good day? So far, yes. Good. I'm kind of tired, but it's okay. Good. Did you have a good weekend? Mm, yes, of course. <laughs> good. Okay. Well, I wish you guys. Uh, a success as you continue studying for the toy uh, I'm sorry for the TOEFL test uh, remember that we're, we're always learning different things different strategies so I, I hope that you are preparing remember there's three modules to this course this is only the first module right so I hope that you are ready you're learning strategies uh, what you can do different skills uh, what's going to be on the test how do i prepare for that i think that's going to help you out a lot so uh, i wish you guys success right as you continue to study for this test okay uh today we're going to look at a new section of the toefl which is the writing section right so ha has anybody seen the videos on the platform did you see the writing videos Did you get yes. a chance to see the writing videos? Okay. Yes, I do, teacher. What do you think? What do you think? You think it's gonna be difficult or you think it's gonna be hard? What do you think? Well, in my case, in my case uh, I think that we need to practice because there are some details that I didn't know mm -hmm. and it's going to help a lot. But uh, I think that maybe with the explanation that you have today to, 
an eye for us. It's going to help to, yeah. to get their ideas and prepare to the, for this exam. This is like, uh, think about this experience like driving. Uh, I think everybody here, more or less, has a driving license, right? Or, ya han manejado ustedes. ¿Quiénes ya han manejado? Who has a driving license? Who drives? Algunos? I do. Yes, I, I rarely I do. use it, but I do. <laughs> okay, all right. But do you remember the first time, right? The first time que alguien te estaba enseñando and you got behind the car and you were like, oh my God, what do I do, you know? You you were nervous, like, oh man, what do I do? How do I move? You know, that was the first time. Uh, and But as you gain the practice, as you gain the, the knowledge, the experience, and you put that to work, you put that in practice, you became better, right? Right, mejoraste. You knew what to do. You know, you know the safety rules. You know, you know what you know the rules of the laws, the traffic laws. You become more and more confident. Okay, so this is like driving, right? This is like driving. Imagine the first time you went to English English class. Remember your first day in English class, right? It was it was the same thing, same experience. Okay, let's look at a, a little presentation that I have for you. I'm going to put the video because I don't know if everybody had a chance to watch the video. So I'm going to put the, the video that's on the platform. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and watch the video and let's look at some things. And then I have my presentation, which I think is going to help you clarify some ideas. And the lecture will be on academic subject, the writing section. Integrated writing. Question one. Integrated writing. Read, listen, explain. For the integrated writing, you will read and listen to a lecture. The reading and the lecture will be on academic subject in one of the following areas. Life science. Any of several branches of science, such as biology, medicine, anthropology, or ecology, that deal with living organisms and their organizations life processes and relationships to each other and their environment. Social science, the study of human society and of individual relationships in and to society, including sociology, psychology, anthropology, economics, political science, and history. Physical science, any of the sciences such as physics, chemistry, astronomy, and geology that analyze the nature and properties of energy and non-living matter. Humanities, Branches of knowledge that investigate human beings, their culture, and their self-expression, including the study of languages and literatures, the arts, history, and philosophy. To begin with, your focus should be on summarizing the main points of the lecture. Do not take notes in full sentence form. Use points. Expect a structure. The main point will come first, followed by explanations, examples, and reasons. Put things in your own words. Avoid the trap of copying down exact phrases. Make sure you have covered the five W's and how. Do you know who, what, when, where, why, and how? You must mention specific details in your answer. Your next task is to show how the lecture challenges or supports the reading. Begin by typing out an outline so your essay has a clear, coherent structure. You can fill it in and delete as you write. Choose your words carefully so that you are answering the exact question that is asked. Just writing generally about the subject will not get you high marks. Here are some key phrases you can use in your essay. Challenges the reading. Contest, dispute, query, question, doubt, mistrust, object, object to, protest, oppose, resist, defy, face. Supports the reading. Advocate, back, champion, confirm, bear out, corroborate, substantiate, validate, verify, vindicate, help, boost, support. Use verbs to indicate that you are summarizing. Suggest, say, report, tell, argue, question, ask, conclude. Okay, guys. I'm going to stop it here.
I want to share my presentation, okay? I think mine's is gonna be a little, a little more comprehensive. I think you're going to be able to understand mine's a little better. All right. So what are the two sections that we have on the to on the TOEFL? We have on the writing section, right? We have two type of tasks, two sections, right? We have number one, you're going to do an integrated essay and an independent essay. Uh, what is integrated? We talked about this word, right? For the listening section, remember what is integrated? You guys remember what is the meaning of integrated? Do you remember? That means you're going to use different skills, right? You're going to have to read. You're going to have to listen. You're going to have to write. You're going to have to take notes, right? So this is integrated, right? The listening does not come from you. This is something that you're going to have to listen to, right? Es decir, viene de, 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 una, de una, una fuente externa. No, no es subjetiva, no son ustedes, right? So the reading passage is going to come from another article. The listening is going to come from somewhere else, right? So this is not going to come from you. This is going to come from the test, okay? So this is what it means to be integrated. Why? Because you're doing three or four things at the same time. You're reading, you're listening, you're writing, you're taking notes, you're, et cetera. The next type of question is independent. This question is going to be subjective. This is your opinion, right? Si ustedes ven, el speaking test and the writing test is the same. It's very much the same. Okay, so that today I think we're going to look at the independent and tomorrow we can look at the integrated. All right, so para no, no tirar todo de un solo, right? Let's look at the, uh, the independent today and then uh, the integrated. The independent is going to be much easier. All right. Eh, let's look at, voy a darle presentación de integrated questions, pero nos vamos a enfocar en práctica en, en el eh, independent questions. All right, let's look at integrated questions, right? Integrated questions, right? You're going to have to do reading, listening, lectures, uh, and you're going to have to plan, write, take notes, and then write your final essay. So it's going to be a lot of things you're going to do here, right? You're, you're going to have most of the time, it's going to be for this one. Uh, academic topics. Y eso es lo que mencionaba el video, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que el video se tardó mucho en explicar, right? Eh, el video de la plataforma. But basically, they were saying that it's going to be academic topics, right? For example, it can be about uh, science, eh, business, finance, etc. right? Psychology. Uh, so normally, this is going to be the workflow. Es decir, primero van a ser reading listening and then explaining okay so this is going to be the way you're going to work number one number two and number three right so son los pasos que van a, ten, van a tomar right um reading and listening eso ya lo cubrimos right we did that week number one week number two let's focus on number three today which is explaining Right, so este, estos skills ustedes ya los tienen, ¿verdad? Porque los, los venimos desarrollando esto en la primera semana. Listening and reading. Uh, number one, take notes. Take notes. Very important. Uh, you're going to have to take notes. Um, what you're going to have to do is summarize the main ideas, perdón, the main ideas and points of the lecture. Okay? That's what you have to do. Summarize the main ideas and points. Um, igual, aquí note taking is going to be very important, right? Porque ya cuando van a escribir ustedes necesitan algo para ver, ¿verdad? Y eso va a ser sus propias notas, sus eh, su propios apuntes, right? Your notes. Um, now, for the lecture, when you when you listening, okay? Eh, in the listening section, remember, try to connect ideas and contrast ideas, okay? Puede pasar esto. 
que lo que ustedes ven en el reading, right, va a ser un punto de vista. Y el listening contradice ese punto de vista. Ok. So puede, puede ser, ah, por ejemplo, esta es la opinión de un psicólogo, pues esta es la opinión de un businessman. Ok. So, muchas veces no va a ser igual. Es decir, el reading no necesariamente va, va a ser una extensión del, del listening. Ok. All right. So, puede que estén como con contrasting ideas. Time. How much time do you have? 20 minutes for the writing of this. Right? But you have three minutes for the reading and five minutes for the listening. Five minutes preparation. Right? Solamente que la preparación viene de los 20 minutos que tienen para escribir, right? Digamos. Okay. So, no es que les van a dar esto extra. The preparation time is not extra. The preparation times viene dentro del tiempo que tienen para escribir. Okay. So, yo puse cinco minutos para preparation. Tal vez necesitan eso. Tal vez lo hacen en un, en un minuto. Right? Uh, it's up to you. Okay. Remember, take notes. Okay, take notes. Very important. Uh, something that I need to sh share with you is the keyboard. Um, van a, como este, si toman el examen IBT, verdad, el TOEFL IBT, que es el más completo, que el, 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 el tema de este curso. Entonces ustedes van a hacer todo en keyboard. Okay. Uh, now I want you to see something. The keyboard. Ok. Eh, tiene, que, tiene que decir esto, mire, el keyboard que ustedes eh, ahorita están usando, ¿verdad? Tiene que decir query. Porque si no, eh, si tienen otro tipo de teclado, eh, sola, eh, recuerden que el examen va a tener este. Este es el estándar, el standard keyboard, ¿verdad? Right? Es decir, este es el más común. Entonces, probablemente... Eh, están usando diferentes tipos de keyboard. Ahora hay iPads que tienen diferentes keyboards y todo. Pero vamos a usar el standard keyboard. Okay. Si van a tomar el examen en línea, entonces va a ser con el standard keyboard. Um, eh, ya que estamos en este tema, es typing speed. Okay. Tienen que tener por lo menos ya un poco de typing skills, right? Porque... Imagínense si tienen ya las ideas concretas, pero en la forma de escribir van a estar así como pica pollo que dicen. ¿va? Typing con un dedito. Right? It's gonna, that's not, that's not gonna be good for you, right? So you need to start practicing your typing skills, right? Um, so si quieren páginas así para, para aprender typing, yo tengo algunas páginas y, y, y sitios web donde pueden aprender typing gratis, lecciones de typing gratis. Ok, la cosa es que puedan usar el standard keyboard, que tiene que decir esto, y tienen que tener por lo menos ustedes un, un, un basic typing skill. Ok, right? no tienen que escribir 100 palabras por minuto, ni 50 palabras por minuto, no es necesario, pero sí tienen que por lo menos poder escribir en el keyboard. Ok, uh, one more thing: the keyboard no le va a dar la opción de control. Pace, control pace, ok. Eh, si ustedes van a buscar información en otro lugar, no les va a dar la opción, la opción de pegar información, ¿verdad? No van a poder copiar ni pegar información. All right, very good. Questions? Questions about the keyboard? All right. Solo para que sepan, ¿verdad? Ya el examen de papel y lápiz, ya ese examen ya no sirve para el TOEFL, todo es. A computer. All right, so what steps am I going to take, right? Estamos hablando de la integrated section. I'm going to do the reading, the listening, the preparation, the writing, and the editing. Okay? El editing es que ustedes vayan corrigiendo errores. De regresen, va, pueden, ah, me faltó esta palabra, o este punto no suena bien. Ustedes tienen que poder editar su propio trabajo. So, Uh, this time that you have for step number three, four, and five is about 20 minutes. Okay. All right. 
Questions? Okay, I, I need to say something, right? Eh, para quitarles ustedes el temor or whatever. Look, no están calificando específicamente el spelling ni tampoco la, la, la gramática. Okay. No, no se está enfocando el examen en eso. El examen se está enfocando en la comunicación. Eh, la lógica y la comprensión de lo que ustedes quieren decir. So the test is not looking for perfection. It's not looking for you to be 100% perfect in grammar and perfect in spelling. No es ese tipo de examen. The test is looking for communication of ideas. Okay? You can have spelling and grammar mistakes and still get a very high score. Okay? Es decir, yo honestamente, en mi inglés, la parte de spelling, para mí me cuesta. All right? Uh, English. Right, this is the this is the most difficult for me, right? Eh, creo que tengo un basic spelling, right? Pero algunas palabras no me se me olvidan, right? So spelling for me, I'm not very good. Okay, grammar, yes, I am very good in grammar. Okay, but no me están calificando en esto, sino que me van a calificar en communication of ideas. Okay, so I have to be clear. I have to be structured. I have to be organized. I have to have clarity. I have to communicate my ideas. Okay, so esto es lo que está buscando el examen, right? This, that is what the test is looking for, okay? So, a lo que le cuesta un poquito el grammar, a lo que le cuesta el spelling, don't worry, okay? Focus on structure, thought organization, clarity, communication. Okay, independent questions. Let's go now uh, to the independent questions. Remember, van a ser dos tipos de preguntas. Solamente dos tasks, two essays. The integrated and the independent. This is the independent one, okay? The independent one is your opinion, right? So this comes from you. Uh, this is something that you can relate to. It's a topic that you can relate to. It's something that you don't normally think about, but you can give an opinion about it, okay? For example, let's look at this. Y esta es una pregunta de un examen. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Our current way of life will have a negative impact on future generations, okay? Ahora, esto, todos tenemos una opinión, todos podemos... Y tenemos algo que aportar a esa pregunta, right? Eh, pero no es algo que yo lo pienso todos los días, right? This is not something I think about. But it's something that I can give an opinion about, right? I can relate to it, right? So here, uh, maybe you agree, right? Entonces, yes, I agree. It's going to, um, our current way of life is going to affect our future generations, right? Right? And so... You're going to have to give specific reasons and examples for, to support your essay, okay? Be sure to use your own words, right? Do not, uh, do not copy and paste. Do not go to the internet y todo lo demás. Eh, mire, aquí hay, la gente ha tratado todo. Ha tratado de estar en el teléfono, copy and pasting. Ha tratado de ir a la internet y buscar un essay, right? Eh, tiene que ser sus propias palabras, okay? All right, so this is your opinion, right? This is a, an example question of uh, of an independent essay. All right, so el independent es el más fácil, right? Eh, simplemente su opinión de algo. So let's look at some writing skills, right? Eh, how to write an introduction. Dicen que la introduction for the essay, right? The introduction is maybe 50% of the test, okay? So the introduction is 50% of your note. So it's very, very important. All right, an essay should look like this, parts of an essay, right? Uh, you should have about five paragraphs, right? An essay is five paragraphs. Puede ser cuatro paragraphs, puede ser también three paragraphs, Pero ya se está quedando corto, okay? It should be about four or five paragraphs. 
Number one, you should have an introduction, right? The introduction should be a general statement and information about the topic and your thesis statement. Ya vamos a ver la diferencia entre los dos, all right? So you should have general statement and a thesis, okay? And then you should have the body of the paragraph, uh, the body of the essay, right? Que sería idea número uno, idea número dos, idea número tres, right? That should be my own opinion, right? This should support this. Debería de apoyar el thesis statement, okay? So the body of the paragraphs have to support your thesis statement. Finally, you have a conclusion, which is a brief summary of the main points of the essay. Okay? Es decir, mi conclusion van a ser estos tres puntos ya eh, summarized. Okay? All right, very good. Questions for the, the structure of the essay? Okay. So, esta misma estructura la pueden usar para independent, and you can also use it for the other uh, integrated questions. All right. The introduction, right? Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Siempre eh, vamos a ver cinco diferentes partes del essay. Eh, le voy a dar un ejemplo en cada una. The introduction is the first sentence, right? The first sentence is a general statement, okay? ¿Qué quiere decir un general statement? It should catch your attention. It should hook you in. It should draw people's interest into the topic. For example, here's an example of a general statement, okay? La pregunta, ya se la voy a dar así antemano, es... Do you think uh, the pandemic is going to make studying in the university more difficult or harder? Okay. Do you think the pandemic is going to make studying in the university more difficult, right? Do you agree or disagree, right? Algo así la pregunta. So I'm going to start with my general statement. University tuition is becoming harder and harder for struggling students as the pandemic drags down the average household income, okay? This is an example of a general statement. Aquí simplemente estoy diciendo lo que está pasando. No estoy diciendo mi opinión, lo que yo pienso. No, nothing. I'm just, this is what's happening. Usually a general statement, it's a fact. Es un hecho que se puede verificar. Es algo que podemos ver, observar, algún dato que podemos verificar. It's usually a fact, okay? It's not an opinion. It's not an opinion, okay? All right, so this is an example. All right, let's look at the next. Estamos hablando solamente de la introduction, all right? Let's look at number two. Then you should have a topic sentence. The second sentence is usually a topic sentence that helps narrow down what the main idea or position of the writer will be. Ahora viene su opinión. Ahora viene la opinión de ustedes. What the writer will be mostly communicating. One way that many students are coping is by working online between classes, okay? Ya más o bien, ya ahorita ya estamos entendiendo la opinión del autor, que es, ¿verdad? Su opinión. Number three, restate the question. The third step will be, will help the reader understand the question that is in debate. Right? Would a few hours of work per day really be enough to help students overcome the financial burden of the pandemic? Right? Yo tiro una pregunta ahí. I restate the question. Y esta pregunta es la misma que el, el están, le están eh, en el essay, el examen, ya se las está dando a ustedes. Okay. 
Number four, you can include different ideas. For example, the US Department of Education says that students, college enrollment is expected to drop by 40% during the pandemic. Okay. Ya tiro allí como una opinión de alguna persona, de alguna institución, de algún, algún recurso. And number five, you give your position, right? Sentence five will introduce your position or opinion and will set the stage for the next four ideas. That's it. Prepara el camino para the body of the paragraph, the body of the essay, okay? Working a few hours will help students get by during the pandemic and will help them continue their studies. This is my opinion, okay? Y aquí es donde ustedes van a poner the reason for this is, y ahí ustedes van a poner sus razones, right? Las cuales van a ser las que van a desarrollar en el body of the paragraph, okay? Right? Y estas son las que van a desarrollar en los siguientes paragraphs, una por uno. Okay? All right, so, ¿cómo sonaría un good introduction, right? It's not a perfect introduction, right? Solo les estoy dando una idea. This is an introduction here that you can have. Okay? Uh, wait, somebody's man. Okay? University tuition is becoming harder and harder for struggling students as the pandemic drags down the average household income. One way that many students are coping is by working online in between the classes. Would a few hours of work per day really be enough to help students overcome the financial burden of the pandemic? The U.S. Department of Education says that student college enrollment is expected to drop by 40% during the pandemic. However, I believe, y ahí viene mi opinión, I believe that working a few hours online will help students get by during the pandemic and will help them continue their studies by providing extra income and by contributing to the global econ economic recovery which in turn will help us all, okay? So, ahí está mi, mi, mi introduction, right? This is my first paragraph. No tiene que ser así el de ustedes, solamente les estoy dando una idea, okay? So, num sentence number one, my general statement. Sentence number two is my, uh, my topic, okay? Sentence number three can be a question, restating the question. Sentence number four can be giving different opinions. Sentence number five can be my opinion. Okay. So, lo voy a escribir aquí. Sentence number one is going to be general. General statement. Sentence number two is going to be the topic. Sentence number three is going to be um, uh, restate the question. Sentence number four can be give different opinions. And sentence number five is going to be my personal opinion. Okay. 
you don't have to use this exactly the same, right? No me tienen que, right? Esto no es algo que está escrito en piedra, right? This is just an idea, okay? But mi recomendación es que si tengan ustedes, right? Traten de tener siempre un general statement and a topic statement y clarificar su opinión. Por lo menos tener esto. In your introduction. Estamos hablando de introduction, right? My first uh, paragraph. So aquí, este sería el, el primer paragraph. Más o menos entre unas cuatro a cinco oraciones, right? Four or five sentences. Okay, questions? Do you guys have any questions? Preguntas? Ideas, opinions. Tal vez ustedes tienen otra estructura que han usado. No sé si la quieren compartir. You guys want to share? This is just an idea, right? Por lo menos tiene que tener el general statement and the topic. And your personal opinion, right? En your personal opinion, debería de contener las ideas que van a desarrollar. ¿Ok? Y después la desarrollan uno por uno, right? Ok. So, you guys are ready to practice? Ok. Eh, let me go back. Por si quieren copiar esta imagen. Right, if you guys want to copy that, this is a good way. Traten de usar este, este, este estructura, algo similar. Um, for example, the introduction, right? Mínimo mínimo tiene que tener el general statement and the TC statement. The TC statement es como el topic sentence que acabo de explicar, right? And le voy a agregar uno aquí a la introduction, right? Que dijimos, my personal opinion. Si estamos haciendo el independent task, right? The, the personal opinion, right? My personal opinion debería incluir estos, ¿sí? Estas ideas, right? Todo esto junto sería my essay, right? This is my, my introduction for my essay, okay? Very good. So let's try it. Let's do a, a practice, right? Uh, for the independent question, right? Para los que quieren saber qué es un thesis sentence. Look, the thesis sentence is what the essay is about. Quiere decir el topic, right? Es lo mismo que yo, yo solo le dije topic sentence. Right? And it's your own insight or your opinion about the topic. Eso es un thesis. That's a, a thesis sentence. Right? It's the same. In, the translation for this word in English, right? In Spanish is un tesis, right? Which is basically a topic and then your opinion about the topic. Right? So esto sería definitivamente incluir esto, ¿verdad? In the introduction. Okay. Let's, let's try a practice, right? Practice, let's write an introduction. Let's focus on writing an introduction. So here's the question. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Always telling the truth is the most important consideration in any relationship between people. Esta es una pregunta real de un examen, de un test ahí que vi en línea. Always telling the truth is, an, is the most important consideration in any relationship between people. All right, so, eh, tenemos 20 minutes. 
les voy a pasar esta, esta imagen en WhatsApp. Ok. Y ustedes pueden desarrollarla como quieran. Si quieren usar Word, si quieren usar su teléfono, si quieren usar Notepad, lo que sea. Solo que eh, no, si, si pueden, me la pueden, me la pueden mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Su, su introduction. Para que mañana la, la pueda leer y les pueda dar un poquito de feedback. Ok. Google Docs. Eh, yeah. Eh, deja ver. Sí, Google Docs, sí. Eh, solo que It WhatsApp. The best one. Sí, solo you que. You can send the link in WhatsApp. That way. It's. Ajá. Solo que tengo que tener una, una aplicación para abrir doc, documents. Porque WhatsApp no, no puedo oh. abrir. Pero está bien, está bien. Eh, si quieren ustedes hacerlo en su notepad eh, y después solo darle copy paste, lo que sea. Right? Solo va a ser una introduction. No va a ser todo el essay, sino que solamente la introduction. Oh. Right? Only the introduction paragraph. Right? Let's, let's, let's do it right now. I'm going to... Oh, perdón. I'm going to send you uh, a picture of this in, in WhatsApp. And we are going to develop this idea, right? So let's try to do it. Okay, so I put the, the question in the group. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Le voy a dar a ustedes la libertad. Pueden trabajar como quieran. Eh, try to send me an introduction. Si quieren solo mandarla así como un mensaje simple en WhatsApp, también. Right? You can put it in the group there, right? And tomorrow... Ah, y pónganle su nombre abajo. Cuando me manden el mensaje de WhatsApp, solo pongan su nombre ahí abajo para que sepa quién, de quién es. So, um, cuando caiga el primero, then um, I, can, I can give you some feedback, all right? Yo lo voy a poner en el grupo de WhatsApp. Remember, uh, um, I'm going to put them uh, tips, tips, right? Consejos, tips. No, uh, number one, general statement. Uh, number two, topic, sentence. Conocida como un thesis sentence, right? Number three, your position. Right, so in the group I put tips. A good introduction should contain at least the following. A general statement, a topic sentence, which is a DC state sentence, and your opinion or your position about the topic, right? So I stop. How would you write that?
um, here's mine. I'm not oh. really sure if, it, if it's good enough, but <laughs> okay. Let me Again. experience with the space. Okay. Did you put it in the group or you put it here in Zoom? Did you put it on WhatsApp or Zoom? I can Zoom, lo pusiste. Eh? Okay. Okay, they have it. Creo que sí puedo modificar, ¿verdad? Miguel, can I change? I don't know if I can. Request, ah, aquí está. Request edit access. Okay, let me see if you can, uh, you can give me permission to edit. There. Okay. Okay, Miguel. Yeah, well. all right, very good. So, uh, Miguel, trust is in fact one of the most important things in a relationship, be it romantic or not. Very good. Uh, is is this a general statement or your opinion? I actually use it use it as a general statement. Okay. Okay, so let's let's think about a general statement. Um, a general statement can be just a, just a fact, uh, not necessarily your opinion. Maybe you can say something like this. Um, Check it out. Oh, there is mine. I don't know if it's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ah, no, no puedo editar. Yo creo que ahora sí, Miguel. Tenía que refrescar la, la Google Talk. Okay, okay so uh, Miguel, maybe you can say something like uh, uh, most people find that honesty is a very important uh, value in a relationship. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that that would be a better general statement because no te no te estás metiendo a tu opinión, verdad? Mm -hmm. Sino que estás diciendo algo general. Mm -hmm. Then, ne, then after that, sí puedes usar tu tu tu, tu opinion. Mm -hmm. Very good. So when you when you question. Uh, when you question is always telling the truth. Um, and maybe you can change that, Miguel. Maybe you can say it. When you ask. Uh, huh? When you ask. Uh, when you ask. Mm, decilo. Es que no sé si sería como, como ahí como le estás hablando al, al, a la, a la, al examen, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. So be careful. Uh, very question. Uh -huh. Maybe you can just rewrite that. Tal vez no querés como así como hablarle el examen, ¿verdad? Porque you, you don't know. Uh, so you can change that maybe. 
And then everything else looks really good, right? Okay. Okay. So when you ask, is always telling the truth the most important consideration in any relationship between people? You are asking yourself, is trust important for a relationship? Uh -huh. Entonces, esa sería la pregunta. Mm -hmm. that, that would be like the question. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then the next sentence you say, as a personal and non objective view, a non objective. Significa que lo estoy, lo estoy viendo de un punto de vista con ya con mi propio criterio. Mm -hmm. okay. Telling the truth to each other is in fact one of the biggest factors to keep a relationship healthy. Y aquí vienen tus razones por qué. Because, mm -hmm. because oh. it develops, you can it say should. maybe because it develops the trust between the participants in said relationship, okay? I think for it is a good way to use it here, but I'm not really sure how often it's used. The what? I have read it for the way I wrote it there. I have read it before, yes, but I'm not really sure how often, now that I think. Uh, which, which, which section? For okay. it develops, the trust between the participants in state relationships that for it as a because is used as a no, because you can you can use it that's fine for it develops the trust between the participants in said relationship uh, hay otra razón o solo esa is there another reason mm -hmm. for now i can think of anyone any other for now okay entonces <laughs> Tienes que, vas a tener que escribir tres paragraphs solamente basado en esa idea. <laughs> so it's going to be difficult. Very, very difficult. Yeah, yeah, sí. So you should have three, right? You should have like three reasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y al finalmente, Miguel, esas tres razones las pusieras ahí al final. Like my opinions mm -hmm. are these because blah, blah, blah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's good. That's good. All right, let's see, Wilfredo. Uh, so far, being sincere, Wilfredo, not, not sincerely, but sincere to the people that surround, surround you. Okay. Okay. Very good. Is it possible to assume a good relationship? Um, ahí te falta algo en tu pregunta, like, um, is it possible to assume a good relationship Without, so assume, on, yeah. with, without honesty, without trust, or algo así, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make it more, the, yeah, the honest, good, mm -hmm. yeah. And then the last, in the last sentence, Wilfredo, ahí tuviera que nombrar así, eh, exp, eh, not explain, but state your reasons why. I believe mm -hmm. it is important because it, it creates a healthy environment, it creates trust, and it's going to make sure the relationship lasts a long time. So, ahí tengo tres ideas. Good. You know, I mean, those, yes, those are an example. And Lydia, All right. the truth in a relationship is one of the most important bases in a relationship. Remember that we are humans and we make mistakes, but telling it and be honest with your partner is going to give us a, it's going to give us a good experience in relationship, okay? All right, very good. Lydia, uh, the, 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 te acordás, ahí puse tres cosas, verdad, que tiene que tener el introduction. The general statement and your topic sentence, right, Lydia? So maybe you can separate those two. Try to separate those two, right? Donde empieza, donde empieza y termina tu general statement, donde empieza y termina tu topic sentence, right? 
separate that. Porque después dices, in my opinion, so esa sería number three, right? Esa sería la, el tip number three que le di, right? So in my opinion, it is important in a relationship because blah, 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 okay? Very good. Okay. Alguien más tiene una ahí? All right, guys. So look, we don't have much time, right? So nos queda un minuto, but please send me <laughs> an introduction. Uh, try to work on it. Send me an introduction. Ahí cuando termine, Miguel, you can put your introduction in WhatsApp. I'm going to give you some feedback. I'm going to remember, right? Traten de pensar en the three things. I need to have a general statement, right? No puedo inmediatamente empezar con un, mi opinión. I need to have a general statement. I need to have a topic sentence. And I need to give my opinion. Okay. My opinion. Recuerden esto. My opinion has to have three ideas. Because in the essay, I'm going to develop those three ideas. ¿Qué pasa si solamente tengo una sola idea in my opinion? Entonces significa que voy a tener que escribir three paragraphs solamente con esa idea. Sosteniendo solamente con esa idea. Entonces es bueno que tengan three ideas. Okay. All right. Yo ya envié, ya envié mi introducción. Okay. Do me a favor, Verónica. Eh... Oh, ya lo pusiste en el grupo. Okay, what's up? Sí. Okay, Juan, do me a favor. Send it in WhatsApp, Juan. ¿Sabes por qué? Porque cuando cierre la sesión ahorita, se va a borrar el chat, Juan. Okay? ¿Lo puedes poner? Juan? Okay, that's fine, teacher. Okay, very good. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Develop this, practice, right? Es parte del aprendizaje, so practice this, introduction. All right. All right. See you tomorrow. Have okay. a good night. Take care. Bye-bye.